guys, welcome again to part six now of the V-Man 1313 adventure we got going on here. Where I Ride is the title of this little series. I kind of made that up as I started going around, but now it's become a monster of its own. Uh, my goal today was to make it from Helen, Georgia to um, Chatsworth, Tennessee. Chatsworth, Tennessee. My goal was to make it from Hen uh, oh my gosh, I do need to eat. I wanted to make it from Helen, Georgia, all the way to Chatsworth, Georgia. And as far on dirt as I could. I don't have the numbers, I've been breaking it up by pieces. If you've been watching it all, you kind of have kept up with how much has been dirt, how much has been concrete. I had to get off a little bit there wasn't much. We started fresh now with a fresh tank of gas. Um, all the roads though have been nice twisties and fun stuff so it's not like you've been on interstates or anything like that. And I'm about to hit the road I'm going to take all the way to Chatsworth. I'm going to have to stop and eat because I am getting hungry and thirsty and irritable. <laughs> Hey, that's a cool island. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Let's jump now, on this. I'm an only child. And so, doing things on my own never bothered me. I mean, I always had to. So, a lot of people always ask me, man, how do you do that? You go off on your by yourself like that? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, not a big deal big deal at all. I entertain myself and now with this stupid microphone this is the worst thing ever. Ah here we go. It's less than five miles but we're gonna call it five. Little pin cap. Oh. Here we go. On the road really at four miles but we'll call it five just to round it out. I've been rounding all day. Let's see how much of this gets us to Chatsworth in on this dirt. Very cool. It's funny how a lot of these always have the creeks beside them. Let video some of my part three, which I'm always on Springer Mountain, so it wasn't like it was something new. <laughs> Dog wanted to play or bite one or the other. Snack, my final snack of the day. I ate a late breakfast, early lunch. Look at that, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this little road. Crazy. Crazy. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's the way we're going. <laughs> We're about to get into nasty stuff, huh? Creek crossing number, I don't know what. Count in county maintenance. No crap. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. So maybe the hardest stuff came at the beginning and at the end here. We'll definitely turn around if this gets too nasty. I don't know this road and Oh, that's all right. It was a little promising for it to be too too hard, but oh, messed up my glasses. There we go. Bugs coming in. Ooh, this looks cool. Funny how it ends right in somebody's yard there. Very cool. Take it easy through here. Nice and wet. Haven't seen that today. Everything's been dry. Got mosquitoes in my helmet. Woohoo! Well, this 
is different. A lot of water. If it's runoff from the There you go, Natasha. Do it up. So we go, part six of my where I ride has started out nice and hot. Yeah, so far so good, huh? A little worried. We're gonna be getting into some mucky muck. Let's see, it's dry. Yeah, we started with the hard stuff and it looks like we're gonna end with the hard stuff. That's all right. Stays like this, that'll be nice. Look at this, people. <laughs> Surprised they don't flip it backwards. The thing about this is that I'm tired since I've been riding all day. So it makes doing these harder sections a little more difficult than they probably really are. Oh, this place, this place after a rain is probably nasty to the third degree. This would be a CRF 250 road here after a rain. And even then, she doesn't like it either. Guess I have heard of people this place, Wolf Pen Gap. I always think it's that up there in Georgia, but I mean, uh, in Helen. Yeah. Good job, Natasha. If you didn't know, that's my motorcycle's name. She's a 2014 Honda NC700XD. She's automatic, so she's doing all the work for me, shifting, and I'm just trying to keep her upright. I call her Natasha. She's a bad girl. Actually, she's been a very good girl. <laughs> she has done an amazing job. It's just a little rough section over there. Let's see what we get through here. Now it's not bad if, as long as it's dry back there. Beautiful. Waterfalls and stuff down there. Big old rock here. Dog crossing. I've got to take a break and that's another good subject I think I talked about it before riding within your own means and making sure you're hydrated and things like that right now my body's telling me take a break and I'm not listening and that's not good then you start making dumb little mistakes and you you know that's you can't you can't do that you've got to listen to yourself Ten miles of concrete, and then we're back on dirt, back on gravel.
cell phone, wallet, and keys. Let's go. Cool little spot. Had me a little sandwich, a couple fruit snacks, and a whole thing of water. And I'm feeling good. Need a something salty, but I don't really have much that I carry that's salty. Camp. That's where we turned around here that time. Ain't that cool? 23 miles there. All right. So that's the uh, that's the trip. 30 miles. This part six. Uh, it looked like it was 13 to 14 miles of dirt. Half and half. So that's kind of cool. I'll have to figure up when I do the video. I'll figure up the totals. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Alright, guys. That was my adventure for today. B Man 1313, all the way from Helen, Georgia to Chatsworth, Georgia. It said it was 90 miles in two hours. It's now 4 o'clock. I rode all the way from, I want to say it was 8.30ish, 8.45, yeah, 8.45, so let's say 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 7 hours, and what, 180, it doubled the mileage basically, 180 miles versus 90 miles that it said, it said it was two hours and I went seven, so it over tripled the time. But boy, was that worth it. That was a beautiful.